Bruno. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello, Liz. How are you? Hi, Fine. teacher. All right, good. Excellent. Having fun. Um, <laughs> trying to escape Everything from. Is good. Yes, trying to escape from my house. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't know how. <laughs> Hello, Ronnie. Hello, teacher. How are, how are you? you? How do you feel today? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, that's thanks perfect. Thanks for asking. Yes, yesterday was a migraine. Uh -huh, the migraine, yes. Migraine, yes. Yeah, I, I stay in class, but I, my my money in another side. <laughs> okay, good. I, 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 I don't understand the class. Uh, yes, you were feeling feel un so. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But now but you I'm feel, ready. But now you feel I'm better. Ready. Yeah. Okay. And then this migraine is uh, very often. Yes. How do you say Parecer. <laughs> what? Seems uh, what? Oh, you have that problem. Uh -huh. I, have, uh -huh. I have migraine since? Since. Mm -hmm. As a child. <laughs> since, ah, okay, since you were a child. Yes. Okay, so it's, yes. it's part of your life. Yes, yes. it's my herencia. My, my, heri my, my heritage. Dad. Your heritage. Yes. All right, yes. good. Well, at least you know you will. You can survive, right? Yes. Okay, good. Hi, Jorge. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I am fine. Very, very fine. I spend time with my family. Okay. That is nice. That is something good, right? Yes. Okay. And let me see who else is here. We have, uh, well, we have Carolina. Roxana too. And who else? <coughs> Veronica. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, I guess that, uh, let me see, it was last mm. night. Uh, let me see. Yes, Roxana share some verbs, right? From uh, that you can, that we can use in in present past and past participle. So that you have that uh, a, that document in WhatsApp, right? Where you have, for example, land, 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 and you have the, the verb in the simple form, the past tense, and you also have the past participle, right? And you also have the meaning, okay? So then this is, you know, not to memorize it, but you know, but it, use it as a reference, right? Use, then you can have a reference of when and how to use the, the verbs in past or past participle. And today also, a couple of minutes ago, Jorge, right, Jorge? You also share a complete document with the verb tenses, okay, and present past perfect okay very good so this is an excellent material you know to to review right i mean now that we have some some uh time off you now you can perfectly do it in your house and if you have doubts or questions you know you can we can talk here in the class about those issues. all right let me see now uh, yesterday We we'll stop with the uh... okay. Can you see the the screen? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you see? Zoom. Only zoom. Okay, good. This is zoom. 
That's good. Now you see the platform? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. this is what we studied yesterday. Here we have the knowledge. The knowledge check, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So then uh, uh, let's see, because somebody told me that in some platforms, probably not this one, there have been some, some problems, okay? So I'm going to play this knowledge check and let's see how it works. Okay, just let me check and share the sound of my computer with you. And see if we can make it work. Listen and practice. Okay, can you hear? Yes. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, listen again. Can you see the conversation? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, yeah, sounds weird, right? Okay, good. Now, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No? No. No. Sure? Okay. Yes. What do you have for the first answer? Has Kathy ever eaten a snails? Yes, she has. She uh, ate yes. snail last week. Yes, she has. She ate. The first one? The first one. Okay. I will trust in you guys, okay? Good. What did she, uh, sorry, what did Steve order? What did he order? the fried brains. Steve ordered the fried brains. Steve ordered the fried brains. So the second one. 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 Okay, good. And true or false, the simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. True. 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 Yes. Trust us. Okay. Yes. Oh yes, I do. I yes, I do. Okay, I am a little slow with the with the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? The second one. Second one. Okay, very good. Yes, I went to Mexican food last weekend. Uh huh. Okay, perfect. And the number five? The first one. Then the first what is the correct response to the question? Did you drink coffee this morning? <laughs> Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I have some yes, on, my way, I have on some my, my way to work. On my way to work. Okay, this is what we usually do, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, now submit. Okay. 50 points out of 50 points. Congratulations, guys. You see, that's what I told you. Okay? I trust in you. 
Good. So then uh, we have the other one is the, okay. So we are complete with this. Then we have the next topic, okay? Which is a little bit of the adverbs. Okay, good. Uh, Veronica, you. would you please read the objective for this lesson? Okay, is sequence adverse. Second. Okay, sequence adverb are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in recepts, receipts or instructions. Sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally, contains information about the order of action and creating natural transition in writing. In this lesson for an English teacher, those sense practice describing receipts in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson, this lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, very good. Now let's see the next one. Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare, prepare food. Okay. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter and finally fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas 
and we explain in this case a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next, and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together, next toast the slices of bread, after that so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your food recipe. All right. Any questions? No. Okay, good. So everything is clear, crystal clear. Okay, good. Now, question. Have you ever, uh, let's say, have you ever uh, followed the steps um, of a recipe? Like, you know, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Two ladies, boys, guys. Have you ever cooked? Yes. Hello, guys. Do you have a kitchen in your house? <laughs> yes, I have kitchen in my no, house. No, I mean, I, I, I guess I can see that only the, only the ladies can do that, only the girls. But what about the boys? Uh, Ronnie? Not not cook exactly, but I, I follow the step of sequence when I in my work. Okay, example. good. Now okay, this question is only for men, okay? Girls, <laughs> you only you only pay attention. You are the judges, okay? So you're gonna tell me which of the boys is the best cook, okay? How do you prepare? Uh, how do you prepare a scramble eggs? Okay. Scramble. Okay. Yes, but only for men. Only for men. Only for men. No girls. What is the scramble? A scramble eggs. Okay. You know what an what an egg is, right? Uh, okay. You break it. Uh, uh, that's the first step. First. And then a scramble is they are you know mixed, right? Mixed. Oh, okay. Okay. So what is the first thing you do with this to make to prepare a scrambled egg? Put an oil in a pan. Put what? Oil. Okay, put some oil, margarine. In the pan. Or, yes, on yeah. the pan. Okay, good. Yeah. Girls, is that okay? <laughs> Ladies, yes. is that okay? Yes? yes. Okay, good. Yes, yes. No, okay. Next. Take an egg. Okay, take an egg. Break up. And, okay. break, and, and break it up. Break, up. Okay. break, it, up. break it up. And break, break it up. Out. Okay, good. Then, uh, then mix. 
No, put, put the all to the... Mix, mix and take a little talk. <laughs> okay, first, okay, we, we put the oil in the pan, right? Then uh, we yeah. break the eggs. Next. Yes. Then uh, mix, we boil. Uh -huh. Then see. next, you wait for a couple of seconds <clears throat> and then you stir, you remove, okay? You stir, yeah. okay, and stir the egg. Girls, are we okay? Talc, and, and put talc. Okay, and put some salt. Are yes. we okay, girls? <laughs> no, this, this egg sta scramble don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> because okay. only salt. No salt. No salt. No, no vegetables. Okay, okay good. Ah, no vegetables. Uh, no, this is only a scramble egg, no vegetables, right? <laughs> no scramble egg with vegetables. That's a different story. Okay, see, ah, okay. <laughs> basic, basic cooking, okay, basic cooking. Okay. To survive only. To survive only, yes, to survive. <laughs> okay, and yes. finally? Um, what is at the end? Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> you have to eat it. Uh, and then at the, the end, wait, the and, uh -huh, wait, wait until the, it is consistent, right? The consistent is a little bit <laughs> soft and hard, okay? Soft and hard. Then serve it and eat it, okay? Okay, so that's, you know, yeah. how to prepare an egg. Okay, guys. Okay, now we can survive, okay? This quarantine, we're going to eat scrambled <laughs> eggs every day. Okay, good. Okay, so then this is, you know, how to, this by, by using, for example, first, you put oil in the pan. Um, after that, you take an egg and you break it up, okay? Then uh, there, you move or you stir, stir the, the egg, okay? What else? And then uh, wait for a minute or two, depending on the, depending on the stove, right? So the fire. Yeah. Then two minutes maybe, and then the egg will be ready. Okay, good? Oh, missing salt. Oh, yes, the salt. Yeah, but some people don't like salt, right? Okay, then you can add, okay. A little bit, a little after, bit. After you break the egg, you can add, okay, add a salt, whether you like it, okay? But if you don't like it, you don't, okay? Yeah. Or if you like salt, you can add <laughs> some salt after you add the egg in the frying pan. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so then this is something else that you can do. Okay, this is how to give us instructions and how to follow the sequence. And this will help you to organize your ideas, okay? You can use this not only for cooking, right? You can also use this, you know, when you are going to give instructions to use a computer, okay? What do you do? First, you know, uh, make sure that the, uh, all the connections are uh, correct, right? Uh, make sure that all the cables are connected in the right places, okay? After that, push the button, the, 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 uh, the button, button, okay? On. Then, wait for a couple of seconds to see what happens on the screen. After, mm -hmm. if it is necessary, introduce your password, 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 password. right? Password. Your user, your user and password, okay? And, Finally, access or look for the files that you are that you need to work. Okay, so you see this is um, instruction on how to use a computer. Okay, how to drive a car. You can use it also first. You know, first by the car. Okay. Or first, uh, <laughs> first sit uh, properly. Okay, on the driver's seat. Okay, adjust the seat. Okay, mm -hmm. adjust your, the seat according to your, to the length of your, of your legs. Okay, then check that the car is in parking, <laughs> if it is automatic, or mm -hmm. noter if it is not, if it is standard. Uh, then yeah. start the car, right? Start the car. Then what else? After that? Once the car has started, release, okay? Release the handbrake, 
okay? Release the handbrake. Mm -hmm. After that, okay? Just a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, this, uh -huh, the, what, probably shift so the gear. First, have to put the seat belt. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Tour. You see, I forgot the seat belt, okay? <laughs> so that was the first thing after sitting down when you were adjusting the seat, you have to yeah. also fasten your belt, okay? Yeah. Then after you release the handbrake, you have to, uh, for example, uh, place the, the gear, if it is automatic, to letter D, right? D. And yes. if it is uh, standard, to the first gear, to the number one. First. Okay? Then, accelerate. Okay, step on the gas, slow. Then, then okay. open waist. Then, yes, then, no, no, waste <laughs> has to be before, okay? Don't, uh, <laughs> Do not, do not use the phone when you're driving. Okay, good. Then these are, you know, some ways on how to use it. Let's see the, what else we have in the, let me show you. For example, the step uh, that you wash your hands. Uh-huh, ah, okay. Can you, can you give us some, uh, an example? First? Here, this. <laughs> How do you wash your hands nowadays? Liz, can you help us to give us some instructions? How, it, how what's the best way to wash our hands our, uh, nowadays in these days? Um, the first, um, you need to put your soap in your hand. And I don't know how to explain. <laughs> okay, then? <laughs> Um, then, uh, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Who can help first? I don't, explain. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> okay, good, no problem. Okay, what is the first step to wash our hands? Anybody? One person. First step uh, put, put the, first, uh, teacher, the first, teacher, the first, the first to, uh, uh, the first Thing. to of the tap. Okay, uh -huh. first up in the top, soap. right? Uh -huh. Then, uh, then and wet, next. wet your hands and wet your hands. First step. Second? Mm -hmm. in, in, in our hands. The second is apply the soap. Okay, take the soap. Uh -huh. um, take the soap and rub next. it. And rub it. Rub. For, for 20 seconds. Rotarlo, rotarlo, rub. Rub. rub the soap in your hands, right? Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. For for the 20, 20 seconds. Okay, for twenty seconds. Next. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, apply the water. <laughs> apply some more water. Correct. Apply some more water mm -hmm. to wash away the soap. To wash away the soap. Uh huh. Next, Elisa. Okay. And finally, um, take the, uh, the alcohol gel. No, no, I, okay. I don't, don't. Then uh, finally, shake your hands and dry them. Dry okay. your hands with a towel. Yes? Towel. Uh -huh. dry, yes. Dry your hands with a towel. Okay. And then put on some alcohol gel in your hands. Okay, to be don't touch the face. Safe. Yes, and don't touch your face and don't touch anything going it. Okay, if it is before lunch. And staying home. Okay, and another another recommendation is that while you are a uh, while you are washing your hands, you can sing uh, the happy birthday song. Okay, these are more or less twenty seconds, right? Okay, so happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, and then you yes. while you are washing your hands, that will give. Sing the happy birthday. Huh? <laughs> Yes, sing the happy birthday. Ah, uh, sing the happy birthday while you are watching your washing. For your 20 seconds. seconds. Yes. Okay, good. Well, those are, you know, some instructions, okay, that we can follow. Then uh, we're going to, okay, now think about instructions, okay? It can be, as I told you, about food or any other, any other idea that you might have. So now we're going to have, we have 16 people. So we're gonna have 
by group of three. Okay, so that you can work in pairs. Well, in three years, actually. Okay, there you go. <laughs> now we'll be visiting you in your groups. Adelina and group number one, two. Hello, Evelyn. Can you hear me? Evelyn? Hi. Hi. Hello. What happened? My uh, phone. Airphones and no. Don't work. Uh huh. Okay, but now can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I will. Uh, uh -huh. I will. Uh -huh. Okay. I will send you. To, oh well. Now you can accept the invitation to the group three. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. See you there then. Okay. Okay, um, my routine first, uh, when I stay working, <laughs> um, first I wake up maybe uh, 9 or 10 a.m. Um, then I prepare my breakfast and next I start to, like, uh, to prepare me to go to my, my job. I um, start my job at 2 p.m. And after that, I, I take my lunch maybe 4, 4 p.m. And I finally my job at 10 p.m. 11 p.m. my routine. Do you work in a call center? Or? No, I work in at the airport. Okay. Solamente. Clap. Clap. Clap the floor. <laughs> uh -huh, the floor. And then you look if the pupusa look eh, mm, mm, a little golden. <laughs> no sé cómo to make pupusas. Huh? <laughs> I learned to make pupusas. You're learning. Okay, good. Yes. Then after you're going to give then, us the... The and after I want to explain, how do you do the curtido? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Ronnie, take notes, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, um, with the cravat. I, 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 rec right. I recording. Yes. Free <laughs> cooking lessons. Recording. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Veronica's kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. a mix, Veronica and Marcela. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, keep on practicing that. Cute. Cute. Um, Put the mixer on the skillet and wait for three minutes. Mm -hmm. And dar la vuelta, como se? Turn around. Turn around. Turn. Around. Turn. Turn. Like. And turn around. And mm -hmm. the next, you can serve it. Okay, what are, what, are, what are you preparing? I prepare a pancake. Ah, okay. Okay, what else? Okay. And finally, you serving and add honey. Add honey? Mm -hmm. For me, add Nutella. <laughs> Nutella, too. Okay. Yes, the tola is, is also delicious, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. What other instructions can you give? Mm, it's the turn of Evelyn. Uh-huh. Okay, Evelyn. Yes. What are the instructions? What, what can you, how can you instruct us? About I prepare, I prepare the potato fries. French fries. <laughs> French fries. French, <laughs> French fries. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, cook the potato. Um. Um. Then. In the cooking with oil. Okay, put oil. Well, uh -huh. put oil in the pan, right? In the pan, frying okay, pan. Okay, the pan. Mm -hmm. Frying pan. Um, uh, take the uh, cheese in cervix only. <laughs> okay, so you put them in the. Okay, you put oil in the pan. Then you put the fries in the pan fries uh-huh fries potato and wait for how long how many minutes after that you wait how many minutes oh uh, five six minutes okay five or six minutes then mm -hmm. you take them out okay and finally then you put the cheese on top the cheese okay uh-huh on put top cheese the you put the cheese on top, on top of the on top, uh -huh, on top of the potatoes or the fries. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry now. Okay, good. <laughs> very delicious. Yes, very delicious. Okay, continue cooking, please. Only cook. Well, no, anything else you anything else you want? Okay, driving, okay. taking a shower, what you do mm -hmm. every morning. Uh, how to use a telephone, a cell phone, whatever. Okay, but just remember first, then, after, next, final. Okay, okay. good. Okay, put salt and lemon. Lemon. Like dressing. Yes. Like yes. dressing. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hello. Oh. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Fine, easy, nice. Yeah, nice. Relax. Nice. nice. Not, not yeah. relax. Relax. Oh, okay, good. Relax. How was your day? Ah. <laughs> Typical. Oh yes, uh, it's been a hot day. Yes, the, the yeah. temperature, the weather is terrible these days. Yeah. I think it's yeah, the uh, sure. yeah, probably because we are, you, uh, well, you know, it's summer is very close, right? 
Yeah. That's for one someone, of for someone, we're we're used to to be in the in the air conditioner. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I miss it. The problem is the, the electricity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bill will in, the, the the bill will increase a lot, right? Yeah. But but I think you know, is is necessary, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but what else? What are some things that you can mm. instruct? Give instructions. We we're we're talking about uh, making food. Okay. Uh, cleaning house. Um, gaming. Make a cup of coffee. <laughs> about yeah. what? Make a cup of coffee. Uh, how to make a cup of coffee? Okay. Yeah. What is your What is your secret, Carolina, to make a cup of coffee? Um, the coffee is the water sugar. is the key. <laughs> What's the key? <laughs> Water. Water, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> what else? Um, don't put uh, sugar. I no like sugar. Uh, no sugar. I like uh, black coffee. Ah, okay. So that's also good. But uh, what, uh, what kind of coffee? What that kind of coffee? Instant coffee? Uh, yes. Um, um, granulado, how do you say granulado? So the grain, grain coffee. Grain. Grain. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Grain. Grain. Okay. Grain. That's, yes, grain that's grain grain coffee. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? Uh, what else it is necessary? Then what do you do? You first you put the water to what? There. To boil. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Second, you put or after you put the coffee in the cup. In the coffee. Uh -huh. And then stir. Then when the water is ready, you put it with the water. Uh -huh, in the cup. In the cup. Then you stir okay the coffee and the water. Until, until put sugar. Ah, or put sugar. Okay, if you if you like, you know, next you add sugar. Okay, okay. if you like it, if you like it, okay. or without sugar, if you like it black. Okay, good. Okay, continue okay. practicing with more instructions. Okay. Okay, just okay. Then, I have to. I have to search. No. Hey, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Fine. Fine. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no, oh. we were practicing uh, a lot of the sequences. I was saying to Jorge that I joined at the mid and the half of the meeting. Okay, good. Uh, but he put me in in context. In context. Uh -huh, okay. Now we, we have will to practice now the uh -huh, first. Yeah, we will practice the adverbs. Okay. Except perfect. All right. Good. Then uh, practice and choose a topic, and then you can you can talk about it, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Good, right. good. 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 Let me see. Yes. Now, Evelyn, I visited them. Okay. I okay. Okay. Uh, next topic. Uh, well. Okay. Okay.
Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Now we are all back to. Okay, good. Now uh, I want you to think about it. Okay, can you see this? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Well, you know, it's easy to see the, the action, right? Okay. Okay, the first action we have is what? Draw. 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 So draw. Action, draw. And then, what is the past? Drew. What is this? this Okay, the past tense is drew. Drew. In the past, drew. Part, in the past participle? Draw. 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 Okay, draw. What about Sue? So, Sue. So, Sue. So, 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 so. Okay, have you ever, okay, have you ever sewn socks? Yes? No, I never. <laughs> yes. yes. My grandma. Yes, uh huh. You know, with a with a light bulb, right? They put a light bulb on foco, right? Remember they, uh, you know, the grandma used to do that long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Now, now it's cheaper. Nice sound. Uh -huh, yes. And now it's different. Okay. Wave. Okay, wave. just wave. Okay. Wave hello. Or wave goodbye, okay? Wave. So then, wave, if this is a regular bear, say wave, wave, wave. Oh, wait, okay. Okay. The next one? Swing. 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 With a U. Swing. Okay, swing, swing, swing. Okay, this is, you know, have you ever swung? Okay, have you ever swung in a swing? Yeah. Yes, you know, when we were little kids, right? I love it. <laughs> yes, it was swung. nice. Swung. This is a regular swung. bear. Swung. Bounced. Swung. Swung. With Bounced. 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 Uh -huh. Have you ever played basketball? Yes. Okay. yes. If you have played basketball, then you have bounced a ball. Ball. Right? Ball. Bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say I have bounced a ball when I have played basketball. Went. What is the past tense? Go. 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 Went. Went. Gone. 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 Okay. Good. Uh, Liz, have you ever gone through a red light? <laughs> yes, I yes. have. Oh <laughs> I do too. No, I, you have two. You have two, Gio. Yeah. Okay, no, that's terrible. Okay. Shame, shame on you guys. Shame on you. Okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, but, you know, the thing is that here in El Salvador, when we see the green light after green, we see the yellow light. Yellow one. Sometimes we yeah. move fast, we accelerate, right? Accelerate. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a stop, we say accelerate. Okay. It's incorrect. What is incorrect? <laughs> oh, yes, it is. It is incorrect. Yes, it's not correct. Okay. Dive, dove, di okay, and? Dive. They have given, right? So this is the one that we have. This is when we swim, right? When we swim and then we throw ourselves into the water. Into the water. Okay, into the water. Into the water. Row, row, row. This is for example, you know, when, when we are on a boat. Okay, okay. so these are different stand, stood, 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 ski, ski, skid, and like that, right? So clean, clean. Okay, so then remember to have all these verbs fresh in your mind, okay? Skip with double P, E, D. Skip, skip, skip. It's like jumping, right? Okay. Dance. Regular bear. 
Yes. And then you have pick. pick. In this case, pick. what is the meaning of pick? Seleccionar. Like you have to select something. Right? To select, select. Some, to select something. something that you are looking for. That's to select. What else we have? T. So. So. Scene. So. So. Scene, so. right? Have you ever seen an elephant in your living room? Yeah, I, I have one. You have one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I have one. I have one, right? Yeah, because, yeah. Yes, because uh, Gio, Gio goes for Alianza and then he has a... No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, I thought you had a little elephant, you know, in the living room. Yeah, I have a little elephant. A little yeah. elephant. Okay. Good. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Then look, look, and look. Left. Then juggle, okay, this is the action of juggling, okay. Okay, have you, have you ever juggled, okay, have you ever juggled, uh, let's say, the, with balls or oranges yeah. or lemons? With, orange. with lemons, I try it, but they can't. Yeah. Or melons? Okay. <laughs> or water, watermelons? No. Yeah. Not possible. <laughs> <Very deep. laughs> okay, right? Wrote, right, written. Wrote. Okay, write, wrote, written. Okay, have you ever written a letter to your mother? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Yeah. Yes, I have. Okay, shouted. Shout. Remember, shout is when you speak louder, right? Not loud. If yeah. you see a friend on the other side of the street, you shout. At okay, him. then you shout. Hey, George, come, right? But it's different from scream or yell, okay? Yell is when you are angry, right? Yell is when you are angry and say, hey, come on, you man, what are you doing? Okay, so that is yell. <laughs> but shout is only speak loud, okay? Mm -hmm. Have you ever shouted in the street? Yes, to the bus. Right? Uh, for, to, the bus, <laughs> to the bus driver to stop, right? Yeah. And the bus driver to stop. Bake? Okay, have Bake. you ever baked a cake? Have you ever baked uh, what? A co uh, cookies? Cookies. Have you ever baked uh, a turkey? I baked a cake. Uh -huh. Have you ever baked a uh, uh, turkey for Christmas? Okay, then we have a slide, and then you have walked, talk, right, read, uh, right, road, read, run, wash. Okay, paste. Okay, like copy paste. Okay, have you ever pasted a, let's say a, a notice in the street? Okay, pull and jump. Okay, so like this, you know, this is one way that you can practice verbs. You see the verb in, let's say, in the base form, and then try to remember the past and the past participle, and then generate or create a sentence okay for example have you ever jumped a candle have you ever jumped a fence in circle have you ever jumped uh, a fence say yes i have no i have yes i have okay have you ever fold folded marched Okay, you know, this is uh, what we used to do in the school, right? Yeah. Then you have painted, yeah. come, locked, opened, poor. Poor, this is verter, right? Echar. Okay, for example, you pour the soda in the glass. Okay, you pour the coffee in the cup. Okay, so this is the action of pour. Right, like verter or echar. Then laugh, then you have a stop again, bring, plant, planted, sneezed, right? Sneezed. Now don't don't sneeze in the streets, okay? They yeah. <laughs> work, tie, scrub, okay, this is like fregar or restregar, right? Yeah. Like, this is usually for dogs. Okay, and then uh, you have sale, push, 
push. Next, hit, hit, hit. Some of these birds have the same uh, form in base form, in past, and in past body. Okay, good. So I will see if I can, I think I can send you this one later. Okay, so that you can also have these images, right? Teacher, what, what is the difference in between skip and jump? Skip. A skip is like the, like, you know, like, like if you are uh, a, like the kangaroos, right? The kangaroos skip. And jump is probably, you know, when you are going to, to jump from one, one place to another. Okay, for example, mm. if you jump from, the, from one side of the river to the other side, okay? So that oh. jump is long, a jump is longer sometimes. And it's only one, okay? okay. But if you are, uh, this is a skips are you know short, you know like the. For example, there is another word, is hop, H O P. Have you seen hop. the rabbits? Yes. The rabbits hop. Mm. Okay, because they are even uh, short. A little bit uh, short. Uh, like short jump. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then a skip is a little bit higher. You know, like the like the kangaroos, and jump is you know mostly, for example, when you when you see, for example, that after when there is when you're playing soccer, and you want to hit the ball with the head, if you want to hit the ball, then you jump. Okay, mm -hmm. you are not skipping, right? Yes. You just jump, okay, and then you hit the ball. Okay, so that's the difference. For example, in Netflix, mm -hmm. is skip the intro uh-huh because it's just an intro you just skip that one right yes and if you don't want to if you want to skip and you can also skip some other the scenes that you don't like okay mm -hmm. you can skip scenes right yes. like some uh -huh. scenes, right you can skip scenes you skip you skip that uh -huh. all right so these are like little jumps that you can do during the movie all right sometimes i do it you know sometimes i do it with the videos right I skip some parts, okay? All right. Okay, guys, uh, what else do we have? Well, let me see in the next uh, topic here. Final lesson. <laughs> huh? The, the next, the knowledge. The knowledge. The knowledge, right? In the fourth. Yes. Okay, now. This one, okay. Can you see the knowledge check? Yes? No. 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 You don't. What do you see? Uh, a guy climbing. Climb, climbing. Uh, that's a man me. climbing. Uh, you see my picture when I am climbing. This, that's what I did the last two weeks ago. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Ah, in my dreams. Well, in my uh, dreams. Um, yeah, okay. because you are in Europe. You. Yeah, no, Europe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not in Europe. Yes, that's uh, true. Okay, now, yes, you can see another check? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so then let's see this one. Which snack? Which snack does this recipe describe? Popcorn. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few yeah. seconds. Popcorn. Pop Popcorn. Okay. Pop if you don't agree, let me know. What about number two? What is the last step? The first one. The first one. Finally, yeah, a little salt. Pepper. Pepper. Yes. Pepper. Yes. 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 Next one. Cutting half. What is the first cutting half? Cutting half. half. Cutting half. Cutting half. Cutting half. The second one. Second. The second one. Sure? Yeah. yeah the, the second one. Okay, the second one? Yeah. 
Okay, first cut it in half. Which sequence, which sequence adverbs are not interchangeable? First and finally. 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 And finally. Okay. Both of them. First Both them. Yeah. And yeah. finally. Finally. Okay. Ready? Yes. There we go. Okay, guys, we have 100 points tonight, okay? Yes. So that's excellent. Okay, good. Then uh, the next one. Five section. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, Liz, can you read this one? Yes. Uh, the future trend is what we use to describe our in hope. In these lessons, learn how to use going to and will to cover a statement to the future trend. English speech, Joe Sands explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. As an answer question, using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discuss discussing your future plan, for example, and coming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Okay, good. All right. So then uh, for tomorrow, please. Uh, well, tomorrow we're going to have uh, the beginning of the class. We are going to have a little uh, practice and review using the verbs in uh, okay, let's say question with have you ever okay then mm -hmm. another little practice using uh, the, the sequence adverbs okay and then we are going to to introduce the future with going to and will I think we saw this okay. in the last level too right but this is a review yes. then uh, watch the video okay uh, let me see they are just yes it's nine minutes okay so watch it, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to give you only some uh, <coughs> ideas, the main ideas about the videos, so that we can have more practice tomorrow than watching videos. Okay, uh, or probably can get another short video so that we can have more time to practice. All right, questions in this moment? No. Okay, then I uh, will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Okay. Thank, you. Okay. Thank you. And uh, suffer at home. I mean, stay home. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.